Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. But, if you guys watch the channel, you would know I recently bought this box of shells and paid $12 per shell. Five shots in here. I paid $60 for this box of Federal Premium Heavyweight TSS rounds. So, I don't know what these go for. Is that a good price? Is that not? A bunch of you guys told me I got ripped off. I feel like I got ripped off. But, I'm not a turkey hunter. I'm a total turkey hunter newbie. Uh, but a lot of you guys are diehard turkey hunters. Been asking me to turkey hunt. So, we're going to turkey hunt. Let me give you a close-up of exactly what these are. But the whole purpose of this video is, does it matter what shotgun you use, the barrel length, and the choke? So, I know a lot of you guys, because you told me, are super nerdy when it comes to shotguns and turkeys. So, a bunch of you guys have told me, oh, you got to have a wing-wang, bing-bang choke on your shotgun, and it's got to have an 87-inch barrel. I'm trying to snap those turkeys at 200 yards with my 12-gauge. All kind of stuff like that. But, in my opinion, turkey's just a dumb bird, and I could probably just walk up to him and grab him. Um, I've been up close to tons of them in the deer woods to know that there's some truth to what I just said. Anyways, you guys are out there that are diehard turkey hunters. So, purpose of this video, I'm going to take this stuff, which let me show you again up close. Federal Premium High Dollar Primo TSS. I'll give you the, the deets on the side there, 1,000 feet per second. Now, Federal, federal pays people... Uh, YouTubers, influencers, if you will, to really talk this stuff up and tells you that it's the bee's knees. Um, I don't know anybody at Federal, so you can take this to the bank. Um, maybe it's maybe it's good stuff. I don't know. We're probably going to shoot a turkey with it. So, um, but the whole purpose, I brought out the shortest barreled 12 gauge I have, and this one is right here. I forgot the tape, but. I'll, when I edit it, I'll put up how many inches long this barrel is. This is my pistol grip. Um, it's essentially a shockwave, but it's not a shockwave. This is actually my Mossberg 600. But my shortest barrel 12 gauge right here, that's a Mossberg 600 AST. And then my longest barrel 12 gauge, which this is also a Mossberg. This is a model 395 um kb this one i actually like because it has this uh built-in adjustable choke uh, if you're not real familiar with these let me show you real close a bunch of you probably never seen one of these uh they don't make them anymore that i know of but let me twist the barrel all you got to do on this one it says it right there uh i modified and then full so all you got to do is twist this and the choke stays on there and you're adjusting your choke as you adjust it there's a name for this which i forget but y'all who know shotguns can comment down below what that is but all that being said here's what we're going to do i'm going to load up one of these 12 dollar shells in this one and we're going to shoot it at 30 yards and then we're going to load up one of these 12 dollar shells in my shorter barrel pistol grip at the same distance I'm just gonna step off 30 yards um, and do the same thing right here on the side I just noticed something that says kill gobblers from further than ever before this tungsten super shot carries as much twice as much as twice the penetration energy of number five at 60 yards so uh, my opinion uh, if you can't get within 30 yards of a turkey, uh, maybe you should try deer hunting or something. Anyways, uh, again, I'm not a turkey hunter, but I've walked up to turkeys much, much, much closer than 30 yards, and they weren't even afraid of me. Uh, but let's get to flinging them. I'm going to shoot the shorter barrel first. I've got a piece of steel out here. Again, I'm just going to step off 30 yards. And we'll look at the spread with this one. Uh, this doesn't even have a choke and then this one 
with the tightest choke and just see does it make a difference and uh, if I go to turkey hunt with these $12 shells is it gonna do me any good so let's load them up also these are three and a half inch shells uh, both of these shotguns only take three inch shells but I'm just gonna single load them and it'll work just fine but let's see what happens I'm gonna set up the steel target and the cameras step off 30 steps and then shoot this shorter one quick all right now so what I didn't think about was this may just be a real good way to make a video on how to knock my teeth out so um, I've never shot one of these uh, TSS heavyweights and a bunch of you uh, turkey fanatics have said these suckers kick a whole lot so uh, shooting this normally with just this light bird shot this baby kicks back pretty hard let me get you guys where you're uh, more looking at me here there we go but just shooting this normal this thing kicks back pretty hard when you try to aim it like that boy whoo, you better watch your teeth uh, let me line it up right here where you guys can see me shooting and the target at the same time but I got a uh, I took 30 average size steps I got a red piece of steel down there let's load this baby up see what kind of group we get on that uh, piece of steel down there try not to knock my teeth out safety off I already had braces and I can't afford it again hold that grip real tight <clears throat> aim down that barrel yep not too bad not too bad let's go up there and check that piece of steel I know we hit it let's see what the pattern looked like well let me tell you what I'm glad I didn't knock my teeth out but uh, I saw that thing shaking and I heard it go boom so I think we got a decent shot on it even shooting it from that um, pistol grip check out this piece of steel here so freshly painted hopefully you guys can see on camera where those shots hit we usually shoot this with pistols so everywhere that you see like these little dots right here that's what we hit it with that pistol grip so I don't know about you but my eyes are telling me we hit that pretty good I don't see a uh, two inches at all that weren't hit from 30 yards even out of that short barrel look at a whole bunch of hits right there real close to each other all the way out to the edges we still got shots down here I mean there's our evidence right there <clears throat> so that being said if you show up to you know turkey camp or whatever you want to call it with that right there uh, it will take a turkey don't let people make fun of you you know a lot of people uh, especially me because I talk to hundreds and thousands of people every month about all these bing bangs uh, I get trash talked a lot for not having you know the latest and the, and the greatest gear because simply I just can't afford it number two I really don't want to spend a bazillion dollars on a turkey gun when I got you know these other shotguns that cost me literally a hundred dollars they'll do the same job but anyways um, I'm gonna assume that that longer barrel one is gonna do us a better uh, tighter group but hey that little uh, pistol grip one with a shorter barrel that would have smoked that turkey at 30 yards without a doubt son um, probably even further than that but we're doing way too much talking for this video let's load up that longer barrel Mossberg same distance 30 yards see what we do to that steel I'm gonna go repaint it real quick all right now we got the Mossberg 395 much longer barrel we will see what happens this one I'm not gonna be afraid of knocking my teeth out show you another one of those TSS's there 
And let's see what happens. I'd really like to take a deer with this one, to tell you the truth. Safety off. Aim right for the center of that red thing there. Hmm. Now that thing rocked my shoulder pretty good. Let's go look at the steel. All right, so logically, we're gonna get a better group on that piece of steel right there. Let's go check it out and see what happened. So, walking right up to it. Let's see here. I uh, just freshly painted this, remember? So if you see silver, then it was from this shot. Looks like the, the tightest part is kind of right there. See all those little silver dots? And we back up and kind of go around the edges. We got hits down here. We got pretty tight hits all the way around this thing. But to tell you the truth, I honestly don't think that is too much better than the other one we had. I'm here to tell you right now. That's the evidence. No monkey business here. That I don't think is enough proof. Let me get my face out of the sun. I don't think, based off of this evidence, I don't think there's enough difference for you to go shoot a long, long, expensive shotgun barrel unless you're trying to shoot geese, you know, at 100 yards or something. We're talking about turkey hunting where you probably shouldn't be shooting them at 100 yards anyways. Um, hey, that short barrel to me did just as good as that long barrel. I assumed we'd have a much tighter pattern off of that long barrel, and the facts show that we didn't. So, um, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I want to do that video to see how the short barrel would do. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your experience. This, uh, this video here today does not impress me. That other barrel is much longer, four to six inches longer. Didn't do a whole lot of beans difference on this piece of steel, even at 30 yards. Honestly, I thought the group of that longer barrel would be much tighter at 30 yards. Um, but hey, here's what it is. There went $24 worth of uh, turkey loads right there. Hope you enjoyed the video. Comment down below everything that I need to learn about turkey hunting. Always appreciate learning from y'all. Comment down below ideas for future videos. Maybe we should try to shoot those at like 200 yards or something. Don't forget to check out all the links in the description down below. Subscribe to my friends at Heavy Metal. We'll see you guys on the next one. Hoo-doo-hoo.